A head-on collision on Highway 6 leaves one dead and seven injured. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. Breaking news from Dillon, where one person is dead and seven others are in the hospital following a head-on collision on U.S. Highway 6 this morning. The accident happened around 6.50 a.m. just outside the Corinthian Hills neighborhood. Steve Lipscher with Summit Fire and EMS. Summit Fire had uh, three engine crews on scene and four four ambulances and red, white, and blue fire had another ambulance on scene. And we ended up uh, extricating a couple of people who were still trapped in the vehicles. No other vehicles were involved. Authorities have not released the name of the deceased or given an update on victims taken to the hospital. Obviously a, a horrific crash and uh, we're, we're hoping uh, we can help these patients get through this. U.S. Highway 6 remains closed in both directions, with detours westbound at Tenderfoot Street and eastbound at Lake Dillon Drive, both through downtown Dillon. Stay tuned for the latest. The Rio Grande restaurant in Frisco is shutting down, and neighboring Outer Range Brewery is moving in. Crystal 93 confirmed in late September the Mexican restaurant is closing after five years in Frisco, and Westward Magazine reports owners of Outer Range are leasing the entire building. The brewery now triples in size, moving the tap room to the old Rio Bar and welcoming two businesses, a coffee shop and Thai fried chicken restaurant. Rio Grande closes for good next week. Outer Range hopes renovations are finished by February. Parking on Main Street Frisco is at a premium, and starting this November, police will write tickets for cars that overstay their welcome. You've got a maximum of three hours to park on Main between Madison and 7th Avenue, one hour longer than before, but now police and community service officers will strictly enforce the limit. Find overnight and long-term parking at the lots on Granite and 3rd, the Marina lot, and Kayak lot by exit 201. There is no overnight parking on Main or nearby alleys. Say so long to Union Creek Quad at Copper. Starting this season, that high-speed quad out of West Village will be known as Woodward Express, part of Copper's new Woodward Peace Park collection with pro snowboarder Danny Davis. Copper, A Basin, Loveland, and Keystone have been blowing snow this week, prepping for opening day. Copper opens October 25th for U.S. ski team training, open to the public November 8th. The other three are duking it out for first day of the season, sometime in mid or late October. The Dillon Ice Castles are back for a third season this winter. Dillon Town Council voted unanimously Tuesday to sign a new contract with the Ice Castles, bringing the massive frozen art installation back to Town Park. Installation can begin as soon as October 15th. Officials claim the castles pumped $2 million into the town's economy. Local fire danger is very high today with Stage 1 restrictions. Fires remain banned in the backcountry. Backyard fires are okay. In roadwork news, portions of Summit Drive and Summit Cove will be closed all month for a culvert replacement. County crews are also repaving torn up pavement on Cove Boulevard and Summit Drive. Expect detours during the day. In sports, the Avalanche opened the regular season tonight against the Flames at 7 p.m. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports in Dillon. Summit High Boys Soccer plays Glenwood Springs at home today. Volleyball faces Steamboat Springs away. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.